What kind of rate are MotoGP bikes currently developing at? Are the current 800cc bikes at their pinnacle yet, or are there still big strides to make? I think there's always uh, room for improvement in, uh, in the technology, and uh, as a motorcycle sport, we are uh, relatively young in a four-stroke technology, uh, because it's been introduced uh, not so long time ago in this modern era. So there is for sure room of improvement. But also the, the job of the engineer changes year by year depending also from technical regulations. We can have a change of uh, capacity, we can have change of uh, uh, fuel available, uh, engine durability. So there are many, uh, many new rules that comes year by year that makes also uh, the engineer job different, so there is always a possibility to improve. Vilko Zielenberg will work beside you as Fiat Yamaha team manager. You have known Vilko for many years, so what do you think about him and about this choice by Yamaha? Well, first of all, uh, welcome to Vilko and uh, good luck for his job. I think uh, it's a good choice because uh, Vilko has, uh, has experience as a rider, he's an ex-rider. And also he has already experience as a team manager, to manage a team, to manage riders and staff. So he will have uh, all the quality and uh, abilities, I think, to do this job. It's in a different environment, so he has to learn MotoGP, which has probably changed a lot since he was riding. But uh, I, think, uh, I think it's a good choice. So it will be a strong rival. So Lorenzo will be a stronger rival for Valentino this year. But that's good. That's on Yamaha. So. After six years with Valentino, is he still capable of surprising you? During these six years, he surprised us in a good and bad. He surprised us with some fantastic victories and, uh, of course, all the world championship titles and surprised us sometime when he makes some mistakes uh, in the race. But I think uh, the biggest surprise is, is a strong motivation after nine titles after more than 100 victory to remain the number one and to continue to win. It always looks like is the, the next is the first win for him. So that is the big surprise. Would you change anything about Valentino if you could? It's better we don't touch anything and leave it like it is because uh, other than to be a great champion with uh, so many victories and titles, is also great uh, working with. It's uh, very funny and uh, he respect all the people around him. And uh, maybe I will change maybe to improve, to increase the moment we can spend together. Also during the weekend, because he's always close in the motorhome, he's always uh, with many fans around. But anyway, at the end of the day, the balance is positive, so leave it like it is. In your opinion, how will Valentino live the internal competition in Yamaha with Jorge Lorenzo, but also with Ben Spees? Of course, this is, uh, this is not so easy to manage. Uh, this internal competition creates even more, more tensions and more stress, I think, at the, at the normal stress that we, we have in the competition. I think it will face this situation with even more work, more motivation, because uh, these uh, young rivals, they want to take his uh, uh, number one uh, position uh, inside, inside Yamaha and outside Yamaha. So I think he will just uh, keep, put more motivation and more effort into this sport. And let's see if uh, this uh, will be enough again. Valentino's contract with Yamaha will expire at the end of 2010, as well as Jorge Lorenzo's. Stoner and Pedroza have their contracts expiring at the end of the season. How do you imagine Valentino's future, as well as the future of the other riders? I think uh, the, first, uh, the first thing is uh, to wait for Valentino's decision, whether he will continue or not to race in 2010. And if yes, uh, Yama desire and is willing to, to, to confirm and to continue to maintain him. But I think there will be some changes because uh, there are three main manufacturers with four strong riders. So some of them, it has to have two, let's say, number one riders. At the moment, they are in Yamaha. And uh, let's see, maybe we are able to confirm uh, this uh, strong team and continue to win for a long time. Valentino and Ferrari. They have been talking a lot about this issue. What is your opinion about it as Yamaha team manager 
but also as an Italian sportsman. I have a little bit of fight inside because I am Yamaha team manager, but also I am a big Ferrari Formula One fan. So I would like to have two Valentino Rossi, one on Yamaha, one in Ferrari. But of course, uh, I hope that he can continue to, to race on motorcycle. So of course, to remain in the Yamaha team uh, as long as possible, because it's, uh, I like to, to work with him. Uh, uh, regarding the possible uh, Ferrari challenge, uh, I think he can he have a good potential there, but uh, he will probably need uh, some time to, to learn, to get, to get experience, because this is not something you can buy. And uh, I don't know if uh, the public, the media, will have uh, this passion to wait uh, for him, make an experience, but uh, as a... As a sportsman and as a Ferrari fan, it will be very interesting. But at the end of the day, I hope he will race motorcycle and just test some time Ferrari.